Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to Paper Mario Pro Mode. In the last episode, we defeated the soup, the Electro Blooper, I should say, and it was really hard. Goombario came through, and I appreciate him, and that is why he's a really good party member. But in this episode, we're going to be continuing exploring the desert, or, no, the ruins. Since we're here, we can get some really nice items like the Snowman Doll, pretty useful. And uh, I'm glad we got through that fight when we did, because that was a pretty difficult fight. Not gonna lie, that uh, that actually kind of killed me. But anyways, let's see what we can get now that we're here. We can fight these guys, but we don't really want to do that. They're not that threatening right now. Not gonna get anything out of them. But if we go in here, we get ourselves the Power Smash Badge. Does a lot of damage with the hammer, which could be useful. I believe it would make the hammer do 6 damage as opposed to 4. So if we really wanted that kind of power, we can give it to us. We can get the power. Also, yeah, these guys exist, but that's fine. We don't really want to go and get in their way, you know, because it would be bad. But if we hang up here, then we'll get something quite nice. And I believe if we go over here and... Oh, hi. Oh, that's an enemy. Oh, wow. These, these boos. The boos are here. Hello there. Not sure how many uh, HPs they have, but they're here. Okay. Let's see. And there's st wow, they're kicking it. Oh, that's damage. Oh boy, my god. I don't want to be here anymore. Uh, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I do not want to be here. Oh, just barely escaped. Uh, those guys hurt. I'm not fighting them. No. No. Leave me alone. I just want this. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade Bombette. We are getting on the heck out of here. Dude, those were boos. They do six damage. Oh, boy. And their attack pattern is really hard to dodge. I'm not getting involved. Unless, I'm, unless I have to. And in that case, I don't want to. So that gives us a star piece. I do want that, though. So let me go ahead and get our boy Paracarry out here, because I would like a star piece. No. I want a star piece. Just give me the star piece. That's not going to make me get over there, is it? Yes, it does. All right, star piece. Well, we have plenty of star pieces now. We can actually afford some badges from Merlot. I will definitely be taking advantage of that for sure. But first of all, let's see what's in this pipe. Just continue exploring around here, you know. Oh, we have Buzzy Beetles again. Also, we cannot hit that with our hammer because our hammer is not strong enough yet again. Man, we just got a new hammer, yet it is not strong enough to take care of the other obstacles in our path. Oh, well, that's how it goes. Uh, we were just here, weren't we? Yeah, we were just here. Okay, well, I do believe that is everywhere we can explore right now in the sewers. We can't do much else. Uh, is there anything if I stay up here long enough? No. Okay. Well, I'm getting on the heck out of here. I'm not going to be fighting any more of those guys because that would be disgusting, you know. I am not doing that nonsense. Nope. No more booze for me. Not for a while. Unless I have to fight them. And in that case, well, dang. But uh, let me go ahead and heal up really quick and I'm going to meet you guys back here in just a moment. Well, better yet. Hold on. We can go ahead and check out what badges he has now. He has the Sleep Stomp. The multi bounce could be useful, and I have the badges. To, I have the money to do it. This could be useful too to move faster, but I don't think that's going to be useful in a game like this. Uh, multi bounce basically allows you to jump on all enemies with your jump attack. It's kind of like the quake hammer, but it jumps on all enemies, and that could be useful considering. Well, we could use that <laughs> to hit because the quake hammer can't hit the ground enemies, or it can't hit the enemies in the air, but. The multi bounce can hit any enemy as long as they don't have spikes on their head. So that's pretty useful if I do say so myself. But now that we have done that, we're gonna go to Merlo. Because Merlo's fun, right? I mean, Merlo's a nice guy and all. How much money do I have? 14 coins? Good lord, I don't even know if I've. I had so much money at the beginning and I just got lost. I just lost all of it because I sold all of those. Uh, I bought all those Thunder Rages, you know? But in any case, we are going to Merlo. I could have just edited out this trip, but I figured, eh, why not? Why not, right? So, let's see. We have quite a bit of uh, star pieces. And I kind of want some badges. I would like some badges. 
Let's see what kind of badges we can afford. We have 31, which means we can pretty much afford any. Like any of these badges. Saves 2 FP every time you attack. I really want this. How much does this cost to use? 6 BP. Ugh, that's a lot of badges. All right, yeah, a lot of badge points. Uh, Chris Mars tag power makes it uncontrollable. How much does this cost to use? Three to use. Okay. The peekaboo badge has always been a good badge. It allows you to see enemies' HP. Costs one to use. Hmm. I could afford it, and then I'd have twenty-nine. No, I'd have nineteen. Zap tab could also be useful too. Saves one FP. This costs six, though, right? It costs four to use. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Four to use? Dude, I will take that to the bank all day long. And I could even equip that now if I wanted to. And you know what? I'm going to. These guys are kicking my booty. I need something stronger. Uh, Quake Hammer. You know what? Take off this. Take off this. We are getting our power on right now. We are getting the power all day long. And this will allow us to do one point more of attack power, which means our jump does two, our hammer does five. And that's really nice. That is really nice for us. Oh boy, we are in there now with the badges. So you know what? I, what am I gonna do now? Hmm. I guess I can go ahead and see what Koopaku has for more favors, but I don't know how long that's gonna take. So instead, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to save and let's see. Actually, we could read the post office letters. Let's go ahead and do that really quick. So let's see. Oh, yes, Mario. Yes, hello. Well, it seems that you have received some mail. Which letter would you like to read? Ooh, we have letters from Tabombet and Paracarry. Let's go ahead and read Bombets first from the Dry Dry Railroad. Because why the heck not? We're already here. Dear Miss Bombet, we write this letter as a humble request to you, the most worthy and explosive of all the bombs. It's still a long time off, but later this year we will be staging an opening event for our new Dry Dry Railroad route. We feel the event will be a gala bash if you can enlist your bomb bursting help. Crowds love fireworks. Anyway, we'll get in touch with you after your adventure ends and confirm the dates. Sincerely, Dry Dry Railroad Transportation Department. Well, that's nice. And then we got one for Paracarry. I would love to... Ooh, from the Wacka. He's probably mad that we smacked him all this time. Wacku! This is Wacka. Mr. Paracarry, from my place in the shadows, I always see you flying above Mount Rugged. It looks like so much fun flying on a sunny day. Tell me about it sometime. My wish to the stars is that you'll never fall from the sky. Wacka of Mount Rugged. Oh, what a nice guy. You know, after I bopped him in the head, you know. <laughs> but, sweet. Well, now what I want to do... We're going to try something, and this is something that I'm a little afraid to even try. Paracarry is going to be pretty useful, maybe. I don't know how this is even going to work, but we're going to go ahead and try this trial if I have the money. Let's see how much money I have to do. Chapter 1's trial. Eight rounds for ten coins. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. So what do we fight? Just regular enemies? Yeah. We just fight regular enemies. I never equipped the, uh, the multi-bounce badge. So if you have to fight 10 enemies, dude, that's a nice thing. That sounds like fun. And we get a prize out of the deal? Dude, this is fun. Easy. That's one. And we gotta do this, what, 10 times? Okay. We'll do it. Multi-bounce would be really useful. I don't know why I never equipped it. That's fine. And wow, Gumbario's literally not going to be able to do anything. And as you can see, the uh, the attack is really coming in with the uh, Power Plus badge. But, dang! If I knew it was going to be like this, where we just fight enemies from the chapter, that's not even bad. I will take this. Alright, this will be a good way to end the episode. You know, just fighting the trials of the chapter that we've fought. Might as well do both chapters 1 and 2, to be honest. All right, moving on to... Oh, it's eight rounds, so that's not terrible. Ooh. All right, Cooper, you're going to come in here right now, and you're going to destroy all the enemies with your power shell. Well, at least the, the, uh, the goon... Yeah, the spike goombas. And then hit me. There we go. I don't think you're healed after every fight either, which is unfortunate. Well, look at that. Damage all day long. Get out of here. Alright, there's another one down. This is so much fun! Holy cow! 
All right, moving on to five more rounds. What do we got? Ooh, a fuzzy. It's just chilling in the wind, you know. Uh, let's go ahead and hit you once. Or I guess we just hit you, whatever. And then you can do a power shell and destroy everything. And that'll destroy all the enemies. Jeez. Okay, I'm liking this. I wonder what we get if we do this. Maybe some money? I don't know. Uh, round five. What do we got in round five? Ooh. Look at all these guys. Look at all these threats right now. We can hit you and knock you off to the ground. Have you power shell everything. And that'll destroy all the enemies. And then we can just destroy this guy. Easy enough. Look at this. This is so fun. I love this. We're just finding enemies from the chapter that we just did. I might as well be doing this every episode, too, after we get back to Toad Town. You know what? Just screw it. Just do two damage and knock them out. Who cares? Alrighty. Now we have three more rounds to go. Round six. What do we got? Ooh, these guys again. Oh. You know what? Hit you once and then do a, uh, a power shell. And now I'll destroy all the enemies here. Easy. See? Nothing to fear. <laughs> I don't know why this is so cool. Oh, I wonder what I get from this. Now we're heading into round six. Oh, this is not even hard. Not even hard. Good lord, make it easy already. Come on, or make it harder. Dude. I can literally destroy all the enemies with Cooper and it'd be not a big deal. And if it gets bad, I can dodge everything that comes in my way. Not even a big deal. Alright, one more to go. Please. Ooh, wow, that's it. Come on. Give me a challenge. Honestly, give me a challenge. Alright, kill you. You're out of there. Goodbye, sir. And then... Block that. And then... <laughs> Get out of here. And there you go. <laughs> <gasps> oh, man. Congratulations, that was your first time clearing the trial. I'm so proud of you, really. After taking my cut, you earned 25 coins. That's it. That's for your prize. I hope you like this. You've certainly earned it. The Thunderbolt. Ooh, nice. I'm going to go on to go ahead and heal up and try the second one. Why the heck not? We have time. Meet you guys back when I'm fully healed. Alrighty, sir. Let's go ahead and check out Chapter 2. Two, that, yeah, Chapter 2's Trial. Nine rounds for ten coins. Boy, let's bring it on home. Ooh. Hmm. Well, you can kill everything else, and then Mario can just uh, use his regular hammer and kill the cleft. Since I do have the hammer, and it is a strong hammer, if I do say so myself. So let's go ahead and bop ya. And we're still getting star points from these guys, since they are Chapter 2. Alrighty, round two, bring it on in there. What do we got? Two clefts? Let's just kill them, honestly. This will actually kill one of them. And then I can just do nothing with Cooper, so I don't think it actually matters what he does at this point. And that does nothing. Easy, I'm not wasting any FP, I'm not wasting any HP, and he's dead. Easy. Get out of here, sir. Wow. I got a lot of stuff to do after each chapter, don't I? Good lordy lord. Next is round three. What do we got? Pokies? Psh, give me a break. Seriously? Alright, let's just hit you guys. And then, uh... <laughs> Why not? I got this for free. I found it. I found it in the sewer. It's a snowman having a good time. Kill everything. Probably could have just done that first. But like I said, we're still getting star points from these enemies. Might as well take it. Alright, round four. What do we got? Some bandits? Hmm, I could just, uh... Yeah, we'll take the sweet route with these guys, honestly. We'll just kill them one at a time. And then I believe, actually, my jump attack might actually kill them. Or the hammer will definitely kill them in one shot. Because they do have five HP, maybe? Four? I don't remember. But they're not hard to dodge at all. Once you know how to fight the regular enemies here, the trials will be pretty easy for you. But let's just see how much damage the hammer is going to do. 
Yeah, that's five damage and it kills on one shot. Who cares? Cooper, do nothing. You're not gonna kill him in one shot. Oh, you took coins from me. Oh, I'm scared. All right, give me that coin back, please. Give me it. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the free coins. And uh, yeah, give me them star points. Now we've gone to round or five rounds left. What do we got? Ooh, a pokey and a fireman. Can the fire even get hit? I don't even know. But ah, uh, whatever. Let's just do this. And uh. Dang, I wish I had, like, a way for Mario to hit multi-targeting attacks. You know, maybe the Quake camera would be nice to have. I don't know. There we go. That does a lot of damage. And I can't believe they're even here, anyway. I mean, come on now, a lava bubble? This late in the game? Or this early on? Don't know. But this should be able to kill him, right? Yes, he's gone. And wow, they only give him one uh, star point for killing them, too. That's kind of unfortunate. And now, round six. Ooh. Ooh. That's interesting enough. Uh... I don't have actual ways of dealing with these guys all at one time, so I'm gonna have to do this. And then have Cooper just kill them one at a time, I guess. I mean... I don't have Quake Hammer, so it's not like I can just... You know... Dang! Hello? I'm gonna need to heal. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, but you know what? I Not in this fight will I actually have to heal, so... I can just do normal attacks here, kill them one at a time! You know what? Screw this. Just die. And then I can just dodge you. There we go. And you know what? This will be a good time to actually heal myself for the next fight. But I, I don't have any ways of healing, uh... My damage. Or, I'm sorry, doing a lot of damage to all enemies besides Cooper. And then, not even gonna matter. So, there we go. And then have you just attack him with your normal hammer, and that will take you out. Take you out to dinner and a movie. Cool. Alright, just two more trials to go. Two more. Let's bring it on home. What do we got? Ooh. Ooh. That's not going to hit the uh, the guy up here. But the Thunderbolt will. Just kill him. Look at that. Gone. Easy. And then just use Cooper, I guess. I mean, he's not going to kill these guys, but it works out. As long as they don't poison me, I'm good. In fact, I don't think we've actually seen them poison me yet. But you know what? I am okay with them not seeing it, because that would hurt me a lot. So a regular hammer, bring it on then there. Defeat this one, and that's that. One more round to go. Alright, what could possibly come up? Maybe the Chain Chomp? Maybe? Two rounds left. Oh, okay, never mind. I forgot there's nine rounds here. Uh, Paracarry has to be the one that comes out here. And these guys are just chilling up here, too. Now, let's go ahead and kill this guy. Because he's just chilling. Dude, I can't dodge them. There we go. Okay, so let's just uh, jump on this one. And then Paracarry will finish him off for us, hopefully. There we go. And then... Hmm, I might want to heal up for the next fight again. So you know what? I think I will do just that. So go ahead, heal me up, sir. Just in case if something goes dicey in the next fight, I'll be pretty healed up for it. And you're not going to really do anything, so... There we go. Okay. Actually, no, I have D-Down Pound! Dude! Kill him! Get out of here! <laughs> I forgot I had that. That could have been useful, like, many other times during this trial. Alright, one more. What do we have? Oh, seriously? That's it? Dude. Give me a break, honestly. Just give me a break here. And then just finish this. There you go. Dead. What a trial. Congratulations to us. We are the best. Sweet. Well, there we go. I enjoy uh, those trials. I really do. And we get 39 coins, because we only paid 10. And then we get a nice prize. The Hustle Drink. Dude, those are going to be really nice. Wow. I appreciate this all together. This is fantastic. I'm having so much fun with these trials. But at any rate, guys, I'm going to sleep again. 
and uh, we're gonna end things off here. Wow, we! So next time on Paper Mario Pro Mode, we're gonna be yet doing some other stuff here in uh, Toad Town and some other areas, such as Koopa Coot favors. Maybe go ahead and fight Chan in the trial now in the dojo. Now that we have the ability to do so. And yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. I'm super excited about this. So with that being said, everybody, thank you guys so very much for watching. And I will see you guys next time for some more Paper Mario Pro Mode. I will see you guys then.